What's going on, everybody? Plot Armor Games. And Plot Brother in the house. And it's getting worse. The Lunchly drama is starting to heat up. Twitter is going crazy. And KSI has dropped a response. I'm not going to lie. It's mostly just yapping. <laughs> I can't wait to fill my brother and you guys in on this. So first of all, in our first video, we missed the whole Twitter beef. And so let's see here. Dan TDM responded to the announcement of this stuff saying, What happened to YouTubers, man? I can't not say anything anymore. This is selling stuff for the sake of making money. Simple. How does this benefit their fans? This is selling crap to kids who don't know better than to trust people who are selling it to them. And here's the thing. I think I should maybe talk about my perspective. Like, if you're a YouTuber and you're trying to sell stuff, I don't really care. You know, if people want to buy your product, I don't really care. But for you to be marketing it as you're doing the world a favor because you're giving some healthy ulterior to Lunchables to kids, I think this is like the least of children's problems in life is they needed a healthy Lunchables alternative. Personally, I agree with Dan TDM. Um, this is kind of messed up how they're mar like, he's not wrong. Kids are going to buy it simply because Mr. Beast, KSI, and Logan Paul are the ones who are marketing it, right? That's how Prime blew up. All these kids are drinking Prime and all, all that kind of shit. I know people who collect Prime bottles, bro. These I've seen pictures online. Of these little kids have Prime collections and shit. Bro, these are kids, by the way. They should not be drinking Prime. The amount of chemicals and all these, the amount of caffeine that Prime has should not be for people under 18. They're collecting Prime like we used to collect Yu-Gi-Oh cards back in the day. This is actually insane. Yeah, but... Let me take a look at the nutritional facts for some of this product because it, well, I think they have some to it. I don't think it's too much, right? So let's go ahead and take a look at the turkey stackums. So we got a lunch lease compared to the Lunchables product. All right. So 11 grams of protein in both, 230 calories, which is if this is what you're feeding your kid for lunch, I think they need more than 230 calories or 310 calories <laughs> in order to be a growing child. Uh, electrolytes are 400 milligrams uh, compared to 55 milligrams in Lunchables, uh, which I've heard multiple people online. I don't know if this is true. I'm not a doctor, but I've heard them say that uh, selling electrolytes in as a good thing and product is just it's nonsense and it's overhyped in America. It's not really something that should be talked about in, as like a good thing. And then when it comes to sugar, definitely Lunchly does have um, less than uh, Lunchables in terms of sugar. Um, now let's go ahead and look at the other one. So the pizza. 12 grams of protein has one less gram of protein. All right, for all you uh, bulkers out there, for all you lifters out there, one less gram of protein. Uh, it has 30 less calories. It has way more electrolytes and about eight less grams of sugar. And now if we go down to the last one, the Fiesta Nachos. Okay, so it has two more grams of protein. It has way less, almost 90 less calories, I think, if I'm doing the math right. It has way more uh, electrolytes, and then it has 12 less grams of sugar. Now, honestly, I don't think this is something that is like a, a crazy big difference. Like for you to be marketing is super healthy for kids or not super healthy for kids, but at least healthier than the alternative. But it is like double the price, if I'm not mistaken. So is this something that maybe would really matter? If I'm a parent and I'm struggling to feed my kids and they're begging for Lunchables, I'll probably just get them the cheaper option. Of course, if they want to go healthy, but if you're going healthy, I'd rather just cook you a meal. Let's actually get into the responses from each of these YouTubers. So Logan Paul said, I'll tell you what happened to YouTubers. We spent our lives creating content and building our brands. Now we want to build businesses. You don't say anything when Lunchables faces bans for allegedly containing lead, but when we create a better version, um, you don't, you're upset. Then don't eat it. And then, okay, they've been checked here. All right, readers have added context to what they thought wouldn't be helpful. Prime Hydration LLC was filed against at, uh, at for including lead on three separate occasions, with the third being March 24th of 2024. So I, it just seems like Logan Paul to me has always been like very slimy with this type of stuff. So it's not something that I like expected him to be too truthful about, if I'm being honest. But yeah, he got checked right then and there. And so... Next, we got ourselves Mr. Beast response, which, by the way, Mr. Beast probably has the best response out of the three, if I'm being honest. And But when it comes to his response, maybe you should just be responding to something else instead. Mr. Beast's production company and Amazon are being sued for alleged harassment of contestants on his reality show. He has bigger problems right now. And not to mention all the allegations and crazy things that have been thrown at him by Dogpack and a bunch of other people. However, I do think he does have the best response, and it's it's definitely worth taking a look at. Mr. Beast, Launchable sells hundreds of millions of units and countless people eat it. Our goal is to give people a better, better for you alternative to it. A turkey meal, for example, is 80 less calories, 60% less sugar, more electrolytes. We use real cheese when they use cheese product. They can't call it cheese, higher meat quality, etc. 
Obviously, eating fresh chicken and broccoli is healthier, but if someone is going to eat a pre-made meal like this through Lunchables, then I think giving them a higher quality version at a roughly the same price is a net good, which is why we launched Lunchly. Also, as we get uh, economics and scale, uh, we can get things cheaper and we'll only be improving the product more and more. Okay, Mr. Beast, I understand you're a philanthropist. I understand you like to do things to help people. You're not releasing a paid-for lunch service to help people. This doesn't make much sense. You can't frame this as you're doing some net good for society because by releasing a product you could go out of your way to release even healthier alternatives i don't see this thing being 100 percent organic or whatever the hell it is well i think he has the best response definitely isn't the greatest and let's take a look address the allegations man more electrolytes man you're talking about uh prime then y'all need to reevaluate the recipe because there's multiple videos of people explaining how it lacks uh the more necessary electrolytes i don't know if that's true but uh mr beast you should feel you should feed children toxic waste and give me ten thousand dollars yeah oh look dog pack himself responded kids need more than 230 calories for lunch your product is processed garbage and no nutritional value show now address the allegations of running illegal lotteries selling fake signatures faking videos etc etc yeah he needs a lot he has a lot he needs to address to the fans and he is just he's just focused on on pushing p like i said before and KSI has the funniest, stupidest response, in my opinion. And this is what we're going to talk about because he decided to make a YouTube video on it as well. Um, so KSI says, looks like crap to me. How are you comparing a toy that kids can play with and have fun with to whatever you're putting out, bro? You put out Lunchly and you put out Prime, bro. Prime has had three uh, cases of lead infection. Is the, isn't that wild, bro? You cannot be comparing... You cannot be shitting on Dan TDM when you have products that harm kids, bro. You honestly need to do better. No, no, no. Let me show you. This makes it worse. Let me show you. All right. Look, he has the exact same product. <laughs> <laughs> he has the exact same product. Bro, this guy's a massive hypocrite. What the hell is this? I, I guess what he's trying to say is, um, look, he has, I guess, an explanation. I'm not the one complaining and crying on Twitter, though. You missed the point. But look at all the responses, bro. You thought you cooked with this weak ass response. A toy isn't bad for your health. Yeah, I'm not understanding what he was trying to say, but bro did not hit his point. And again, he got community noted. Not only has KSI worked with him before, the CEO of U2's Austin Long got his start by managing the Sidemen and was an executive producer of their U2 Red Show. So bro was in has been in cahoots with the man in, in the past, you know, and like not exposed. That's crazy. That's crazy, bro. I, you could have done anything. You could have used anything else. You could have apologized. You could have at least explained why you did what you did, and you decided to put out a prod or a response that doesn't make any sense. And then on top of that, after everyone was like, "Nah, bro, that response isn't it," he decides to do this. He was sponsored, then promoted, and made a whole video on Munch Pack. Uh, a month, uh, monthly sub box full of food and candy to his Minecraft audience full of kids. Now what? All right. Let's see. The reference video is over nine years old on Dan TDM's second channel. This is a one-off sponsorship where he was giving a free food packaging for Munch Pack to try unique food around the world. Bro had to dig back 10 years. That is crazy. That is completely different from you creating your own brand and food product than my boy dan tdm over here just sponsoring a food package that he was given right they're completely two different things bro i don't know what ksi is even on about and obviously i haven't seen the whole video of of dan tdm marketing his original munch pack or whatever it is but i guarantee you he's not telling everyone it's a healthy or alternative to other candy in that type of stuff and trying to trick kids into buying this shit bro is just he's taking l's today bro is just taking l's let's see the one-time one time sponsorship versus owner of a company. Not sure that's the same thing. Fair point. It's a one-off sponsor video. Plus, he isn't claiming candy is healthy. Uh, yeah, that's exactly what I said in the video. You guys own the company and actively claiming it's healthy lunch alternative. That's where the problems are. 100%, bro. <laughs> Community notes. Context is missing. Munch Pack is not owned by Daniel Middleton. Uh, this is a sponsored contrary to Lunch Elite, which is being backed by the companies in charge of Prime, Feastables, as well as influencers. Yeah, so... This man is just taking L after L after L. And this, then, then he decides to put out a uh, YouTube video called Everyone Hates Us Right Now. And I, I, I watched through most of it and it just, it was a yap session. It was a 20 minute yap session. Bro did not say anything of value. And I'm not going to put any video in there because I feel like I would get copyright strike because people, I wouldn't be surprised if them being criticized is enough for them to just copyright strike someone if I use part of their content. However, we can look at the comments. 
Responding to criticism. Yapping. <laughs> JJ slowly getting more and more triggered to the video is hilarious. He was a three versus one and still lost. When it comes to Lunchly in general, like I like I said earlier, I don't mind them selling a product. That's not the problem. The product is, is not the problem in any way, shape, or form. The problem is that they're trying to market it as healthy to kids. Yeah, that's true. And we got a we got a simple case of a uh, Gojo versus Sukuna here. It's a three v one, and he's still losing. Of course, they are fucking KSI, Logan Paul, and Mr. Beast. So kids will just listen to anything you guys say, right? You got fucking Mr. Beast over here giving away hundreds of thousands of dollars. Then you got Prime and Logan Paul. Sorry, you got Logan Paul and KSI selling Prime, right? Bro, these kids are gonna eat up whatever you give them. You, you guys have seen what Prime has done to these kids, bro. They're buying it like crazy holy shit there no there's no doubt in my mind bro these kids are gonna buy up lunch sleep you're gonna go to fucking safeway or walmart or whatever the food shelves that have lunch sleep bro completely empty that's how it's gonna be and these kids will listen to whatever you say right if you tell them it's a healthier alternative to uh, lunchables they're gonna believe it bro and they're gonna tell their parents bro little, let me get this shit my favorite youtuber put it out i need to buy this and these kids are gonna be eating it every day for lunch at school now let me ask you this is this really something kids should be eating every single day for lunch at school definitely not like that uh someone said earlier it's only 230 calories bro this is not enough to be feeding your kid your kid's not gonna get they're not gonna grow properly with only just 230 calories especially for lunch and what the fuck are all like what are the chemicals that are in prime feastables and probably all the preservatives and shit that's in the pizza to begin with right this isn't something you want to be feeding your kids on the daily like again like it, once in a while i think it's cool once in a while i don't really care uh, but if you are actually thinking about using this as like an alternative and like it turns into like i remember the south park episode where uh it was like a logan paul south park episode where they were buying prime basically and they all everyone was flexing their prime collection and obviously i don't i'm not around little kids in elementary school so i don't know what it's like but i can only imagine that to some degree that real life schools are turning into that and it's only going to get worse with lunchly because their favorite creators ksi logan paul and Mr. Beast are collaborating on this. There's no way kids aren't going to want this. Let us know what you guys think about this whole Lunchly situation. Is KSI right? Logan Paul and Mr. Beast right? Or is Dan TDM in the right for what he said? Let us know in the comments below. And if you like our videos, maybe you want to check out the whole Diddy situation. <laughs> Click on the video and check it out. Anyways, this is Plot Armor Games. And Plot Brother signing out. And we will see you guys in the next video.